thank you. Hello, Hello you guys. Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm super happy to be here. I'm excited so many people are here with us. It's great. So you're going to forgive me for my English? Uh, of course, you okay. have to forgive me for my English too. So Maybe you're going to speak French? Um, I can speak a little bit, but maybe no. It's okay. not my best language. <laughs> so, Chiara, as I said before, uh, I used to be a fashion director in a magazine, and I, am, I belong to the old system, you know? I'm not that old, but I belong to the old no, system. You're not old at all. <laughs> and um, as soon as I saw you, I was super, super excited because I thought it was very, very smart, very funny, very new, and very viral. And so um, I understood just by watching, watching your work that my old world was finished. And so my first question, I, I'm not despair, I'm not in despair, <laughs> but my first question is, do you think that a part of your success is due to the actual weakness of magazine contents? Um, no, I don't think magazines are dying or anything like that. I think uh, like social media and internet can totally coexist with the magazine world. Uh, we do such different things uh, and social media is just like a different way to communicate and it's much more simple, much more like without like too many barriers. It's just that you can really be yourself and it's easy to express in so many different ways. Um, and I think it can like, it totally coexists like so many other medias coexists before like TV and radio and movie and TV. Do you read magazine yourself? I do, I do. I take so much inspiration from magazine. I take inspiration from everything around me. Uh, but really, magazines are a big source of inspiration, like editorials and all the work that has been put like behind uh, yeah. to create uh, something mm -hmm. very unique. Uh, I mean, you can take really inspiration from everywhere around you, but magazines are a great yeah. source of that. But you know, when, I'm, when I talk with uh, teenagers, mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't read any magazine uh, no more. So uh, there's, uh, maybe you are quite a part of the old generation, <laughs> which generation will me. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, I'm 28, so I'm not like one of the teenagers, no. but I grew up with reading magazines yeah. and they've always been, they kind of, they were part of like those tools that really made me be interested in fashion mm -hmm. and really made me who I am. And I don't know, I've always dreamt to be in one of the covers of those magazine and then like in my own way, I kind of like found my way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how, but yeah. So um, there's a difference between your contents and the contents of a magazine. Yeah, um, there's a, a lot of difference, but take take it step by step. First of all, uh, in uh, into a magazine, you are strangled. You know, you are you are linked by advertiser, mm -hmm. and because you are linked by advertiser, the contents um, could become very very flat. You know, because you it, it's 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 um, you are under control constantly. Mm -hmm. So. Um, are you under control constantly? No, absolutely not. We have the freedom. We are, I mean, we have always been super selective with the brands we wanted to work with. Uh, and for us, the freedom to just really, like, work with our favorite brands and not really just, like, be linked to anyone in particular has always been one of our focuses. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've always been wearing some of my favorite brands. Uh, mm -hmm. And, like, it's never, like, for, like, it never depends on, like, who pays the money or yeah. who doesn't. Uh, we do collaborations, but everything is, like, totally clear. Everybody, like, knows about it. And it's, and I'm proud of that mm -hmm. because I really get to work uh, and give my point of view to some of my favorite fashion brands. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's a big strength you, you, you have here. Because, I know. It's, uh, it's great. It yeah, yeah, it's amazing. very great because um, in, my, in my magazine uh, and in all the magazines uh, I, I, I know in France, uh, we have a problem that uh, the advertiser tells us which product we have to show. Yeah. And in your case, you choose the products. Yeah, for me, so, yeah, for us, it's also like we've always been selective with brands because they really have to represent my style and my point of view. But at the same time, even with brands we know, I always have to choose the pieces I want to wear and I always have to style myself. I don't use a stylist. It's yeah, really yeah. like everything. You don't, uh, you, you don't use a no, stylist? No, I don't have a stylist. Congratulations. Just, no, of course, it's just my style. Like, that's what I'm like known for I guess uh, um, and so I would never want anybody else to style me I mean I love taking inspiration and of course when we should like a ma for a magazine there are stylists but even in those cases uh, like those stylists are really happy to hear my opinion and they would never want to dress me in a way that I would never be comfortable mm -hmm. with so yeah, it's great yeah. 
they take, like, I mean, they care about my opinion, so it's great. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> and then another weakness of a magazine, for me, the, the main weakness, it's the lack of fun. Um, you, formerly, Elle, Cosmopolitan, and all these kind of magazine used to be so funny, so funny. Yeah. With funny words, funny pictures, models jumping, you know, and, and playing and smiling. And do you think that your success, a part of your success, could come from the, the lot of fun you, you take? Absolutely. I think I've always been a very positive person and I try to be in every, like, every, everything I do, kind of. So, like, social media and my website, of course, are a big part of, like, my everyday life. And I want to keep this positive attitude. It's just who I am. And when you have fun, like, everybody's going to have fun with you. And, I mean, I'm very lucky. I get to do, like, the, I have the, the job of my dreams. And it's really, really great. So, why can you not have fun? Like, Fashion has to be funny. Like I think it's just like when you don't have fun doing what you do, then people are going to understand it. And they're not, it's not going to be as entertain, entertainment yeah. for them. Fashion has to be funny, but people funny in fashion are rare. Uh, you have Man Repeller, Leandra Medin. You, you have uh, Garance Doré is quite fun sometimes. You have some people, Hamish, Hamish yeah. Bowles, yeah. but it's very rare because it's, uh, it's a lot of... Uh, pressure it's uh, and i don't know why but even when you go uh, to see a show the front row is never smiling you know i always smile i always jump I around like for photo photographers and stuff uh, you have to have fun i think it's kind of like more of a like the old generation of fashion that wants you to be snobbish and wants you to be like very cool all the time mm -hmm. but the real cool now is just having fun and just be yourself and be approachable and be relatable mm -hmm. so um uh, you used to be a model uh, a when bit. you were a child. Yeah, I mean, I did one campaign. I was one <laughs> campaign as a child. I, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, my sister <laughs> and, did it. <laughs> and then uh, at 16, you, you were modeling, no? Yeah, I modeled for a little bit, yeah. So you know very well the, the model uh, activity. Yeah. Uh, um, why do you think model uh, doesn't smile anymore? Why do you think it's so serious? They pose like this, you know? They are very serious, very sad. And you're not like this. I mean, I'm not, but not all the models are like that. It really depends on, like, what kind of job it is. And, I mean, even me for my photo shoots, for, like, when I shoot for a magazine, sometimes they want you to be, like, super funny and super yourself and super, like, like jumping around and doing stupid things and, like, doing, like, faces. But so many other times they just want you serious and, like, the cool, like, model side of you. Um, so it's just part of the industry. But I think so many so many models are now like, kind of changing the rules of the industry too, like in the way models are not just a pretty face anymore and they can really show their personality, especially because of social media, because they, they get to have a voice and not only mm -hmm. just like having yeah. a beautiful body or a beautiful face. And concerning social media, you're very, very um, gifted on, uh, and talented on Instagram and Snapchat. For example, not everybody is. Y Thank y you. Y you, you, you need, uh, because you know, I've heard, I've heard things about you when I, I say I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this uh, um, meeting with uh, Chiara. Oh, Chiara, she's like a doll. She, no, 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 she's not like a doll. Have a look. Have a look and you see she, she's making jokes. Uh, she, she has a brain. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I can be, like, if they can say, like, I'm beautiful as a doll, I'll take it. But anything else, no. I'm just like, yeah. It's so important to have a brain and to show it and just, like, Really, now it's all about being yourself, uh, being funny, uh, being whoever you want to be. It's great. Like, there, there's always somebody listening to you, and there's always somebody that can find you inspiring if, you are, if you like what you do. And are you comfortable with the tiny lose of control we have on Instagram and Snapchat? Uh, totally. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the... I mean, if you, I think you don't have to get addicted to social media because that can be dangerous, kind of. You don't always have to have a feeling to have to post something. I think with social media, mm -hmm. every time you scroll through Instagram, you have uh, this fear of missing out because everybody seems like they're having the best time of their lives mm -hmm. and they're going to the best parties or to the best shows or to the best holidays. But it's not really like that. It's just like a way to share your positive moments. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're not addicted, like you have the need to always post something, then it's fine. And it's totally, 
It's not really up to you. Everybody has different rules. So, like, I go through Instagram every day and I post I know. a few photos at least every day because I love it. Uh, mm. Not because I have to, but just because it's something that I enjoy doing so much. And do, do Instagram... Um, is it possible Instagram could kill the blog? Not kill, but it's just like they do different things. I mean, when I opened the blog, uh, um, there was no Instagram or it was like... A, the, no, there was no Instagram at the time. I was not using no, it. No, no. Um, and it was just like a way to like show my everyday life. Mm. So it was like a diary and it was like a lot about what I was wearing, but also like the restaurant I was going to, my traveling. Yeah, mm. It was kind of what I was, what I post now on my Instagram. But at the time that was my only like social media to do that, like my only like, like channel to do that. Um, and Instagram just made it easier for everybody to understand because everybody now has Instagram. While yeah. the blog, not every, so many people used to read that, but not everybody had one. So nobody mm -hmm. could really understand the rules mm -hmm. behind that. And Instagram made it so much easier for really yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, the blog, we kind of changed the idea of the blog because uh, I wouldn't want to just post my outfits anymore there. It's not about like that everyday kind of life that now you find on my social media. But it's really about like being like, It's more like a, it became, the blog became like a lifestyle yeah. magazine mm -hmm. and it's more about like inspiring with my idea of life, yeah. my taste. Mm -hmm. uh, um, everything I find interesting is kind of the blonde salad and we have an editorial team of five people mm -hmm. and they're doing such a great job mm -hmm. and we have like really six million users a yeah, year. I know. It's, it's, it's great. It's I going know. well. It's just different. <laughs> so now they're totally fever. different channels. <laughs> and um, I, among all your successes... Uh, I would like to understand why you want to produce these products. To, to produce, you produce your shoes, yes. uh, which are very funny. Yes, they are. Why, why do you, why, why funny shoes? Um, I've always been interested in accessories, uh, mm -hmm. and I've always thought that, like, for like for bags, I kind of like iconic bags. There are so many iconic bags, so I didn't want to just like put myself into the. Uh, but shoes, uh, I really wear all kind of shoes, and I wear shoes that are designer and super expensive but also shoes that are that I bought vintage for like 20 euros really and I like them in the same way so I thought there was like an area where I could really give uh, like like my taste kind of and I could like say my own like give my own opinion about that and I, I really create issues that are fun and they are like shiny and pop uh, and very fun because I want them to be the focus of the whole outfit yeah. so when you wear Chiara Ferragni It's really like you don't really have to wear anything too crazy. Like that kind of makes the look already. So I wanted my shoes to be like that because there are so many other brands doing good, simple shoes. So mine are not that simple. I like I like them very much. Thank you. I'm 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 not exactly the type of girl for this kind of shoes, but uh, I think it's a, it's a flirting shoes. You yes, know? it is flirting. So. I'm obsessed by eyes, so I want to like. The first iconic shoe was like this flirting ballerina uh. that kind of became the motif of the whole collection. So we can you kind of find it in most of the shoes and it became our logo too now. You know, with this word flirting, we have this idea of sexiness, mm -hmm. which has a little disappeared from fashion. Yeah. What, what, you adore sexiness, no? You yeah, play I, mean, I mean, being flirty is totally fun. It's mm -hmm. great. It's like, like part of, I don't know, it's just like part of like a process uh, and it's great. Like you can be flirty without like being sexual. It's like totally different. Mm -hmm. So, You're a famous blogger. Um, my, uh, my, my niece told me she's not famous. She's the most famous on earth. Yes. So, <laughs> and my niece is very clever. Perfect. So, uh, I'm glad like, <laughs> that she gave me the title. <laughs> so she, she, she told me uh, she has everything. But you have everything, but you do more and more and more. We, we, we have seen the, the shoes and now I've heard. That's why we are here. You're doing uh, watch, uh, watch, yeah, watch Apple faces. Uh, watch yeah. faces, yes? Yeah, they're great. Uh, so we have a video, you know, yeah. uh, about I mean, it. Maybe, maybe yeah, we maybe have a look. Better on the video. Yeah. Yeah. Did you compose uh, the music? No, I didn't. I wish I'm not that How good in music. I know. I, thought I cannot do anything. <laughs> I'm not the best in music, so. Why did you do that? Uh, just we wanted, we have like this, um, the, collect, the main theme of this uh, spring summer collection is superheroes. Uh, uh -huh. So we, our flirting iconic eye, uh, like got some mask on. Uh -huh. And so we just wanted to create this like, like faces for like the watch, uh, the Apple watch, uh, like with our characters. Uh, and everything, everything with you is like, is a little childish. It's, it's it like is, a it has to be fun. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. that's like part, like that's how I am. Well, what like, kind of, of child were you? I was a very like, 
of I don't know. I was always Did like you change a lot. <laughs> no, I've always been like super interested in everything. Right. I've yeah. always traveled so much. Like my family gave me like a re a, an amazing education, and they really brought me all over and that really made me who I am I think they gave me a lot of confidence uh, and I, I had an amazing childhood I cannot say anything bad about it I ask you this because uh, one thing I, I adore with you is uh, you you are not ashamed of expose you yourself no, of course yeah, and, uh, not of course because uh, a lot of people are very shy you know and you know that the uh, the selfie attitude and all the, and all this stuff are s sometimes co considered as um, narcissistic um, attitude yeah. and you have no problem with it i mean i remember when i was 16 and i was going to the mountains with my dad and i had my first nokia that was taking photos and i was like that and just i was just like taking photos of myself and my dad was like why are you doing that that like doesn't like that is not gonna lead you anywhere why do you keep doing photos of yourself and i was like dad this is powerful this is gonna turn into something uh, and then like years later everybody's taking selfies and not that i was a genius or anything but it's just like it's great i mean if you just like It's a way to express yourself, and you shouldn't be ashamed of that. There's nothing wrong about yeah. being like a little narcissist, no, I no, think. You're, you're right. <laughs> and my last question is, um, um, do you think that the, the, the new model um, will uh, quickly um, desire to, uh, to do the same as you? Um, I don't know. I hope to be an inspiration for people, but not only to do everything I've done. Like, not everybody has to be a blogger or influencer or, like, a creative director or, like, a designer. It's not really about that, but it's really, like, I want to tell people to be themselves and mm -hmm. to try to create something that hasn't been done before and, like, take risks uh, because they pay off. Uh, and it's not always easy, but if you know that what you're doing is the right thing to do, then you're going to keep doing it and you're going to do great at that. I'm sure you're very inspiring. I, I hope I, so. I, <laughs> I my, hope to my, be. my niece told me when I grew up, uh, I want to grow. When I grow up, I want to be Chiara Ferrani Jobby. Wow. I, I do not know what <laughs> what it means. That's amazing. So, you have to thank her for me. Like she gave me good titles and a good. A Jobby, a yeah. smart job. <laughs> so maybe we can uh, we can yeah. welcome questions. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you guys have any questions? What's your next goal? Where are you pointing, Mahad? I mean, what you gonna do next? Um, I love what I'm doing right now, but I want to keep doing better and better. I'm always, um, I have this personality that is always positive and super grateful, but at the same time, never 100% satisfied because I always think I can do more and I can learn more and I can be a better person. Uh, so I keep, I hope to keep doing what I do right now, but just doing it better and better. And yeah. That's about it. Hi. Hi. Um, how long did it take you to get really famous? I was really lucky by that. Before opening the Blonde Salad, I used to f like share my photos on Flickr and Lookbook uh, for like a few years. Uh, um, so by the time I opened the blog, uh, I already was kind of a little known. Uh, and all the people from this website started following the blog. Uh, And so I, I already had a lot of views from the very beginning, just because I had like a following before. But then to become like famous or known or starting working, it was like after four or five months. Uh, it was like a great timing too. Like everybody started talking about the fashion blogger phenomenon and I was like right in the middle of everything. And I was the first one to do it in Italy. So uh, after that, we just kept on taking good decision, I guess. And we just built a team around us. So thank you. Well, hi. I'm hi. working here, but I do have a question. May yeah. I? Okay. So, um, I, I was wondering, is there any piece, any accessory that you don't have and you're dying for? Ah, there's always something, something else that I don't have. I mean, I think, like, I have so many clothes and a little bit of everything, but then there's always, like, the new bag or the new shoes or, like, I don't have fishnet tights, for example, and I need to buy them because I, I want to wear them so bad. Or leather jackets. I'm obsessed by vintage leather jacket and vintage pieces in general. Um, so I always am looking for the perfect uh, vintage unique piece that nobody else kind of has. Were you ever worried that people wouldn't understand your designs or accept them? Oh, sorry. I don't, okay, tell me. Were you ever worried that people wouldn't understand your designs or accept them? Uh, if I was what? If I was worried that people no. wouldn't understand your um, designs? No, I mean, everything is, I mean, everything you do, there are going to be people liking it and people not liking it. And it's part of, like, everybody's life. Uh, and, of course, like, my designs, uh, uh, 
are kind of particular, so they're not for everybody. Like, a lot of people like them and love to wear them and have fun wearing them, but they're not for... Some people just don't have bad style, and it's not bad. It's, it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's just some people have that kind of taste, and some other people have different one. Like, I'm not very, like, sim I love, like, crazy kind of style. So that's part of who I am, and that's what I want to keep doing. Hi, can you see me? Okay, hi. Yes. Uh, you have, have to raise your voice a little bit. I have a personal question for you. Okay. Is your life stressful or exhausting, to, like, to have a life like yours? It is... It is a lot of times stressful, but it's like a little price to pay for how amazing my life is. I'm, I have a, the, like my, dream, my dream job. I would never want to do anything else. And the fact that I created a new profession for myself uh, and that I have an amazing team around me that is like my second family and we're all, we all love each other so much. It's, and I get to travel and I get to decide like, who to work with. I'm super, super lucky. Of course, some days it's stressful. You have to put that into like, count, but... It's great. It's, I mean, everybody's life is stressful, so mine is stressful too, but I get, at least to do, I get to do something I really love. Thank you. Um, hi. hi. Um, I have a question. I assume that you travel a lot. Yeah. And uh, as a fashion designer, which city you can say is the best for fashion designers, like young designers? Um, it's hard to say. I take inspiration for so many, in so many different cities. I love Parisian style. I love the French style is one of the coolest, I think, because it's so effortlessly chic. Uh, uh, and I love that people don't seem like to be taking, it, taking fashion too seriously, but at the same, same time, they're so like, beautiful and always stylish. It's great. Uh, um, I don't know. Like, to take inspiration, I love Berlin so much now in Europe. Uh, and Los Angeles and New York are kind of like, and, like some of my favorite places. And Tokyo, but I haven't been in a long time, so I have to go back soon. But I live in Los Angeles now, and that is like a great place too. There is so much like creative minds and young people doing great stuff. And I have another question. Okay. Uh, can we take a picture with you? Of course. Uh, we have time to take pictures, so All right. don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What do you recommend to people that want to find their own style? I think really um, think about what you want for your life uh, and start uh, like putting all your strength into that. Don't let anybody like tell you who you are or like what you want to do and just really find a different way to express yourself uh, and just like don't do what other people have already done before. Just try to find something that even like in a slightly way hasn't really been done already because that's like what can make you really powerful. And just get out of the scheme, uh, take risk, uh, they pay off. I have a very, very like, interesting question and well, I'm going, I'm planning to go for one year, like in LA, to yeah. LA. Oh, awesome. Yeah, to study. Good destination. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I'm wondering, is it like any chance to get internship from you or? Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> my team is mostly based uh, in Milano right now, but we, we're going to start bringing part of a team in LA. So yeah, like just send us your curriculum and that will be cool. <laughs> Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you a question about uh, the beginning of your blog. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you find the, um, the money or the pieces you wanted to wear? Or, okay. Because sometimes it's not uh, affordable. Or yeah. um, I've always been obsessed about bags. Uh, and so I used to, like, every time I, was, I had a job, like a modeling job, or, like, like from like, Christmas time, I would like, invest most of the money in a new bag or a new pair of shoes. Uh, and then most of the rest of my clothes were mostly vintage or like Zara and H&M that I still love and I still buy. And for me, it's always been about mixing, mix and match. So mix like designer pieces to very low cost kind of pieces. And you can, you just need to have style to make something look cool. It doesn't have to be designer at to toe. Um, and I didn't have a lot of money at the beginning. It was not about spending a lot of money, but it was really like about expressing yourself and just like trying to find new ways to put things together and then of course I mean after that I started receiving like some gifts and like working with designers so then of course it was easier but still it's all about the style it's not about the money we, we are coming to an end <laughs> thank you guys thank you, very much. Thank, you. thank you so much to everybody for coming here it was great and picture time <laughs> thank you hello you guys
Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm super happy to be here. I'm excited so many people are here with us. It's great. So you're you going to forgive me for my English? Uh, of course, you okay. have to forgive me for my English too. So Maybe you're going to speak French? Um, I can speak a little bit, but maybe no. It's okay. not my best language. <laughs> so, Chiara, as I said before, um, I used to be a fashion director in a magazine, and I, am, I belong to the old system, you know? I'm not that old, but I belong to the old no, system. You're not old at all. Come and on. Um, as soon as I saw you, I was super, super excited because I thought it was very, very smart, very funny, very new, and very viral. And so um, I understood just by watching it linked to anyone in particular has always been one of our focuses mm -hmm. so I've always been wearing some of my favorite brands mm -hmm. uh, and like it's never like for like it never depends on like who pays the money or yeah. who doesn't uh, we do collaborations but everything is like totally clear everybody like knows about it and it's and I'm proud of that mm -hmm. because I really get to work uh, and give my point of view to some of my favorite fashion brands mm -hmm. you know um it's a big strength you, you, you have here. Because, I know. It's, uh, it's great. It yeah, yeah, it's amazing. very great because um, in, my, in my magazine uh, and in all the magazines uh, I, I, I know in France, uh, we have a problem that uh, it, the advertiser tells us which product we have to show. Yeah. And in your case, you choose the products. Yeah, for me, so, yeah, for us, it's also like we've always been selective with watching your work that my old world was finished. And so my first question, I, I'm not despair, I'm not in despair, <laughs> but my first question is, do you think that a part of your success is due to the actual weakness of magazine contents? Um, no, I don't think magazines are dying or anything like that. I think uh, like social media and internet can totally coexist with the magazine world. Uh, we do such different things uh, and social media is just like a different way to communicate and it's much more simple, much more like without like too many barriers. It's just that you can really be yourself and it's easy to express in so many different ways. Um, and I think it can like, it totally coexists like so many other medias coexisted before like TV and radio and movie and TV. Do you read magazine yourself? I do, I do. I take so much inspiration from magazine. I take inspiration from everything around me. Uh, but really magazines are a big source of inspiration like editorials and all the work that has been put like behind uh, yeah. to create uh, something mm -hmm. very unique uh, I mean you can take really inspiration from everywhere around you but magazines are a great yeah. source of that but you know when I'm when I talk with uh, teenagers mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't read any magazine uh, no more so uh, there's uh, maybe you are quite a part of the old generation <laughs> which generation will be <laughs> Maybe, I mean, I'm 28, so I'm not like one of the teenagers, no. but I grew up with reading magazines yeah. and they've always been, they kind of, they were part of like those tools that really made me be interested in fashion mm -hmm. and really made me who I am. And I don't know, I've always dreamed to be in one of the covers of this magazine and then like in my own way, I kind of like found my way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how, but yeah. So um, there's a difference between your contents and the contents of a magazine. Yeah, um, but there's a, a lot of difference, but take, take it step by step. First of all, uh, in, uh, into a magazine, you are strangled, you know, you are, you are linked by advertiser. Mm -hmm. And because you are linked by advertiser, the contents um, could become very, very flat, you know, because you, it, it's, 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 um, you are under control constantly. Mm -hmm. So... Um, are you under control constantly? No, absolutely not. We have the freedom. We are, I mean, we have always been super selective with the brands we wanted to work with. Uh, and for us, the freedom to just really, like, work with our favorite brands and not really just, like, be 